get into the detail, find out a little bit more about the world's most powerful luxury SUV. And I am joined now by the Head of Vehicle Engineering at Aston Martin, Drummond Jacoy. And it wouldn't be Aston Martin without beautiful design. So who better to speak to about that than Chief Creative Officer, Marek Reitman. Right, let's get right into it now. Drummond, what makes this the world's most powerful luxury SUV? Well, Tess, as Toby has already said, the DBX 707 is more than just power. The team at Gaydon have done a fantastic job to realise hu the huge gains in both power and torque from the 4-litre twin turbocharged V8 engine, which demonstrates not only the inherent prowess of this V8 engine, but also our appetite and ability for finding uncompromising engineering solutions. In combination with a new 9-speed wet clutch transmission, output of the 4-litre V8 has been lifted to an immense 707 PS and 900 newton meters of torque. Combine that raw power with class-leading driving dynamics, exceptional precision, dynamic flair and genuine engagement, you get the fastest, most powerful and best handling luxury SUV in the world. Or in simple terms, an SUV that can do 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.3 seconds. That is impressive. I mean, the DBX 707, it certainly has road presence in abundance, Marek. Will you talk us through the whole sort of design process? Yeah, I mean, it, presence is about proportion. So when you do the first sketch, you're looking for perfect proportion. And obviously that proportion comes from a golden ratio rule, one third to two thirds proportionality. So the hood length versus the length of the cabin, the height of the side glass versus the height of the body side gives you perfect proportion. When you have your own architecture and you can set the wheelbase where you want it, you can put the touch down of the A-pillar where you want it and the overhangs in exactly the right place, you not only have perfect balance for design, but you also have perfect balance for dynamics as well. Wow, that's so true. Beautifully put, I must say. I mean, the car looks amazing. It's just sensational to look at, but Drummond, what we really want to know is what's it like to drive? Well, first of all, it's absolutely incredible and amazing to drive, like no other luxury SUV in the market today, but I would obviously say that. <laughs> obviously, this amount of power needs to be controlled, and that is what really astounds me about the job and the whole engineering team at Aston Martin have done. This car handles beautifully and really delivers a tru truly addictive and uniquely impressive driving experience. Key to the DBX 707's exceptional handling is its air suspension system. Retaining the basic architecture and triple volume air chambers of the DBX V8, already regarded as the best handling SUV in the market, DBX 707 features a dedicated chassis tune optimised to its uncompromising demands and objectives. The electronic power steering system has also been adjusted to improve steering feel to help the driver build a clearer picture of increasing corner loads and available grip. Further detail changes have been made to the electronic active roll system to heighten the sense of agility and improve the dynamic balance of the car. And to underline the DBX 707's driver focus credentials, we have introduced Race Start. In available in GT Sport and Sport Plus modes to maximise the off-the-line acceleration and truly showcase the enhanced performance. Also integral to the DBX 707's performance enhancements is the standard fitment of the carbon ceramic brakes, giving improved pedal, pedal feel and braking response for greater precision and driver confidence. So when you take into consideration all the elements of the DBX 707, you have the ultimate performance luxury SUV. And Marek, how can this stunning machine, how can it be personalised? Aston Martin is really all about personalisation. They are truly bespoke cars. I can guarantee not one single DBX 707 will come off the line exactly the same as another. They will all be individual. They'll all have their own fingerprint. If you want your own car test, we can do exactly as you wish. We have Q by Aston Martin, so you can specify whatever you want in the car. The combinations are limitless in, into the millions because it's exterior colors, the wheel color, the stitches on the inside, the leather colors on the inside, the different materials on the inside that augment the interior. So no effectively, you can have whatever you want. So Marek, we've talked a little bit about the design process, but 
talk us through the finer details, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. So if we start, obviously, with the front of the car, it wouldn't be an Aston Martin without its grill. So in this instance, we have probably the largest grill that we've ever developed at Aston Martin. Part of that is because of the power, so it has to breathe and cool the engine and also provide cooling to the brakes. But it's also about stature. It's about giving the car its presence. This is an iconic part of an Aston Martin grille. We call it the S curvature, and it really defines who we are, what we stand for. And of course, it wouldn't be an Aston Martin without the badge. And these are made in the jewelry quarter of the UK. They are individually made. They are pieces of jewelry in themselves, unique. It's uh, a, a, basically a metal badge with an enamel infill. Even the grill veins are real metal, so anodized or polished aluminum veins. 707 is about stance, it's about power. So if you look at this section of the car, which is partly for cooling, and you can see the rads through there, but it also visually puts the car onto the road. It really plants the car onto the road. The DRLs, the daylight running light, extends that. It comes out of the grille, if you like, and through, pushing your eye out, pulling the car onto the ground. The front carbon splitter, providing aero, but also providing really a framework for that wonderful grill. And then out here, another aero feature, which puts an end cap to the wheel, really helps with the side aero that Drummond's team has developed on the car. As you come down the car, which in this instance is in a titanium gray satin, you look at the 23 inch wheel, really filling the arch, pushing the wheel through the arch, really muscular and powerful. And this line here, key feature line on DBX. Proportion, the glass to body, one third, two third, and then the addition of the side sill and skirt, again, visually connecting the car to the road. So you have this planted stance. Same with the rear wheel, pushing through the fender, the power of the rear fender. And as we come round to the back of the car, you start to see all of that width through these outlets, the carbon diffuser, the little tail flip, which helps with the aero, and obviously the quad pipes. The most powerful V8 engine has to have the most powerful sound. And that's it. They are all the features that make DBX 707 unique. Thank you, Marek. Thank you, Drummond.